Hey everybody, this is Nick from Canada Wealth coming at you from our office in Vaughan, Ontario today. Uh, we wanted to make a short video explaining the difference between two-step and four-step mode. Uh, you'll see it on our TIG machines that have these thumb controls. You'll see it with the triggers on our MIG machines. You'll see it with the triggers on the torches of our plasma cutters. And sometimes the difference between two-step and four-step can really confuse people. And if you don't know what it means, and you do have it set the wrong way, your machine's going to behave very peculiar, and it might cause you to think that you have a problem, when really you're just in the wrong setting. So I wanted to make this video about today. It's not going to be long. We're just going to run through it real quick. I'm going to do the best I can to explain it to you guys. But I want to explain right now, right off the bat, um, what is important for you to see in this video is what my thumb is doing in relation to the machine and how it's running. However, Unless you're actually making contact with the TIG, with the plasma, or with the MIG, you can't actually dry fire four-step mode. And that's a safety feature built into the, um, into the machine so that you don't accidentally put it in four-step mode, depress your trigger, walk away from it, and leave your torch running all night long by accident. So you're going to have to uh, visualize what I'm talking about because I'm not going to be able to show it to you because if we actually do welding with it, then all you're going to see is blackness from the welding and the light and you're not going to be able to see what my finger is doing. So we're going to do the best we can to explain this orally today. So stick with me and uh, we'll get through it. Okay guys, so on our TIG ACDC up here, like I mentioned, we got that down arrow and the up arrow and below it two double-sided arrows. Like we said before, down and up is two step, which means press the trigger, weld, 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 release, stop welding. If I put this into four step mode, I will press and release the trigger. We can weld continuously until I press and release it again, four step mode. The benefit to that is that if welding in this position to hold the button is uncomfortable for you because you have a tight weld, you can go into four step mode and you can slide your fingers up here and you can get comfortable in whatever way you want. So that, again, two step mode, four step mode. That's how we switch things on the TIG, TIG AC DC or the TIG DC. Quick reminder, if you are using a foot pedal, you have a foot pedal plugged into this and you're not using the thumb control, always use two step mode. If you're in four step mode, it will not work correctly. So for you foot pedal guys out there, two step mode all the time. Okay, and here we got the Multiprocess 201 SLM. Let's set this thing up for some synergistic MIG. Let's weld some stainless steel today. Here's a reminder of our cables. We're gonna use some 0.8 mil wire. Ah, and here, 2T or 4T. That's the same as two-step, four-step. Quick reminder, two-step, pull the trigger, weld continuously. When you're done welding, release the trigger. If we have four step mode selected, you will pull and release the trigger and it will run automatically without your finger on the trigger. And when you're done welding, you will squeeze it and release it again in order to stop the process. And that's it guys, that, that's all there is to know about two step and four step. If you picked up what I said on this today, you're an expert on two step, four step. Okay guys, so that pretty much wraps it up um, when explaining the difference between two step and four step. I hope this was clear for you guys and I hope you understand why we weren't actually able to show you doing the welding um, because it's just the limitations of our filming basically. But if you do have any questions or something wasn't clear, go ahead and hit me up in the comment section. Uh, this video especially, I'm going to watch it extra close because I feel like this might generate some questions from people and uh, I'll get right on there as quick as I can and I'll explain the difference to you. So. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Um, if you enjoy these videos, go ahead, hit that subscribe, hit that like button. We always appreciate that. And if you're tech savvy, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So uh, until I'll catch you guys next time, thanks a lot for watching. Keep having fun out there.